Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see attack simulation for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and in this video we will do automated investigation hunting and remediation. In this scenario we will simulate an attack that triggers the new Microsoft Defender for Endpoint automated investigation capabilities. This capability automates the SOC attack response, triaging, investigation and remediation. During the response, automated investigation identifies and removes the known attack artifacts from the affected devices. It can also automatically pivot to other devices that may be affected and apply the same response actions. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, so to do the lap, you will uh, log on to your evaluation subscription of Microsoft 365 Defender. You will go to tutorials and simulations you will click on tutorials and then you will perform any simulation that you want to i'm gonna go with this i will get the simulation file it will be saved i'll check it okay it will be downloaded wonderful then i'll go through the walkthrough to trigger automated investigation, we have the same attack layer document, which was used in other scenarios. We will uh, simulate attack that are launched using a socially engineered layer document, which can be sent through an email, phishing email. It is made sure that the receiver does not suspect a thing, but unknowingly opens the document. But this document contains the macro code, which silently drops and loads an executable file onto the device. So same document we will have on our lap. So if I click on my devices here, th these machines are uh, not available because these are gone expired. So I will go to devices, add a device. I'll use Windows 10 for this same thing the following tools are included but you can choose to exclude so if you'll select those tools will be excluded i'm gonna add a device i'm carefully use all the devices i have selected uh, the i'm sure you copy the password correctly because it is displayed only once and i've selected that i'll use a single machine for 12 hours you can use three machines which will run for 72 hours each machine but i'm specifically using these I'll have 12 machines which will run each machine will run for 12 hours so this machine is being set up and I will have it ready then I'll continue with the lab all right I'll pause the video and come back as soon as it is done all right my device is active if you see I will I'm sorry I'll just connect to it I can directly have the RDP to this public IP, but let me just open up this file. I will connect to it. Administrator 1, I'll add the password. I seem connected, I'll click yes. Machine should be up, I will should see the desktop pretty soon. It's loading. Okay, if you see, I have this uh, simulation file with me, this talk, I'll just copy it. And paste it on here on my lab device. I will double click on this file. Try it with open. I'm, I selected. All right. Okay. I want to specify one thing. So whenever you are creating a machine, like you in your evaluation, make sure that you select this. I don't know what they have written. It says, uh, the following tools are included in the device during provisioning. You can choose to exclude tools from being installed to reduce provisioning time. So if I choose, it means I'm excluding, but if you will not select anything, it will not have this. So I had to create another lab machine to have MS Office. Okay. When I click on it, I will get an option to enter the password. 
you'll see right okay but in here if i open up the same document on my test machine 3 right it opens up in a notepad or a wordpad right so whenever you are creating a machine make sure that you select it and that is how all of your components would be installed okay now have it here i'll select the password so i'll uh, go back to that document on the evaluation lab okay it is the document it is the password sorry i'll copy it i'll paste it here i'll click on ok see thanks for using office you just close it you will click on enable content okay it is the trial program that i'm doing click on enable content you are about to run a demo attack scenario provided as part of the uh, WTP simulation. You click on OK. Now, as soon as you click it, you will you are allowing uh, the script to run. Attack scenario completed. Press any key to continue. Right. So, so this is it is done so if, if if the organization block macros in the document you might need to unblock this specific document for the enable content but now if you see here okay you have done this powershell script is launched uh, you see the script ran and it says that uh, um, i have uh, pressed any key to start the blocker so i have a run the attack on this specific machine well congratulations you are done running the attack now the attack simulation ends here but the real attacker would likely to continue the scan from information collect data you know come and send it to command and control center and it will hamper all of your environments now i'll give some time for it to set alerts in my environment and i will check the alerts on the microsoft 365 defender as a SOC analyst or a SOC defender or part of the security engineering team so let me pause this video and come back in some time okay now i'm back at my defender for endpoint portal or microsoft 365 defender so in this uh in this uh, continuation of the attack simulation we will focus on we'll focus on automated investigation and response aspects related to the simulated attack and if you want to learn more about individual alerts raised in this attack and some of the manual investigation you can redo the scenario one so if you see the alert suspicious powershell command line and and if you would see the automated alerts click on just maximize it powershell suspicious powershell command line you see in timeline Now, when you scroll down onto the alert story and you click on PowerShell drop the suspicious file on the machine and if you would see the automated investigation PowerShell drop the suspicious file on the machine start time end time is this after 15 it says remediate it now if you will see uh, if you explore the investigation right you see the investigation ID it is loading the investigation it shows you the investigation graph it shows you the pending or approved remediation actions you see this graph here the investigation detail page shows the alert that triggered the automated investigation right 
malicious entities uh, found were successfully remediated it shows you the alert received which is powershell dropped a suspicious file on the machine then it shows you the devices involved this is test machine 4 on which i ran this lure document then the entities or artifacts found and analyzed which are files processes services drivers ip addresses and the persistence methods right and these entities have been analyzed for possible relationships to the alert and have been rated as ben benign or malicious now it also shows you the threats that have been found or uh, evidence or then the results two entities remediated five entities were found as uh, evidence now depending on the timing the automated investigation may still be running you have to give it some more time if it's still not remediated or it's still under process now when the inv automated investigation has completed a notification message indicates remediation actions now it says uh, detection source was edr and it says remediated right endpoint detection and response it says ended status is remediated now click the notification to view the pending actions if there are any and during the automated investigation now during the automated investigation defender for endpoint identified all artifacts requiring remediation all the registry entries schedule task even the lure document which i ran right and if you want to see separately you can see the alerts you can see the devices that are involved that are shows you uh, that are in the investigation graph you click on evidences click on each evidence which were found as malicious or unknown all right now when the, when it's get completed the automated investigation status changes to fully remediated and and you can see again the investigation graph after the details or the full remediation has been done it is remediated and this is the graph how they are correlated how they are not now you can resolve the alerts as well now you go to the you can go here you can click on evidence or entities if you want to look at these are all the files processes okay now you click on alerts these are already resolved because it was resolved through automated investigation or response you if they if these are not resolved if you have to do it manually you can set the alert status to resolved and classify the alert appropriately so let me click on here manage alert you can classify it as a true alert or a false alert it was a malware attack i classified it you can set the comment or provide additional information and then you can mark the alert resolved save it close it you can review, review the reports as well before concluding the investigation it's a good idea to look at the reports dashboard it provides high level information about alerts devices information or device related information generated in the organization and you can know the trends and summaries related to alerts and devices in your organization you click on reports on the left hand side and you can go for uh, i'm going for threat protection under endpoints alert trends alert status you can get more details out of it for example if you see a sudden spike like i see here right i see six new alerts two of them are resolved you scroll down right 
you can drill down and start investigating directly from the relevant cart to pivot in the alert or device queue with the relevant filters applied and determine what action to take to address this issue okay so what do we conclude from this we simulated a common attack we walked through how defender for endpoint surfaces that attack and triggers an automated investigation in response which is air okay the source is edr which is endpoint detection and response the simulation emphasizes how automated investigations can scale sock capabilities by automatically hunting for attack threats across onboard devices if i would have this attack on one or more devices i would have received the alerts or automated investigation would have ran on all the devices this feature would safeguard devices from unwanted changes by requesting approval for remediation actions right so i hope you enjoyed the simulation and are now encouraged to explore automated investigation as well as other features and capabilities if you want to read more about it please go on to microsoft documentation and if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day